Regarding the numbers, uh, we've seen um, uh, some decline in the total number of patients in, uh, who are COVID positive across the Hartford Healthcare. The decrease in the number of patients across the Hartford Healthcare Hospital system on trend with the decline of hospitalizations in the state overall. But Dr. Ajay Kumar says the number of cases and deaths have not declined just yet. As we had indicated that somewhere around the end of July, end of April, we would have a peak and we were um, um, predicting 27th of April as one of the day to hit the peak. Uh, and we have seen that. As communities continue to fight against COVID-19, health experts are raising concerns about an underlying effect of the pandemic. And that's PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Doctors say this can affect people who have had COVID-19 and survived, people who have not been affected, but living in fear of contracting the virus and healthcare workers who are on the front lines every day. The first thing people really need to do is to increase, increase their sense of safety. That's probably fairly simple. Wash your hands, uh, cough and sneeze into your elbow, wear a mask when you're out in the community. Also, find a way to stay connected and have a support system. This is really critical that you seek support from family, friends, clergy. You know, one of the things we know is that most uh, places of worship are not open right now. Reduce your exposure to stress and practice things like physical exercise to help you cope. And most importantly, know when to seek help. Behavioral health services are still open and available with measures in place to keep you safe. Dr. Kumar says while we have made progress, there are still critical factors that we should still be focusing on in the quest to get back to normalcy. One is a tech testing. We need to continue our active PCR testing across the state of Connecticut. Along with social distancing and contact tracing. Reporting in Hartford, Aisha Fox 61 News.